Hello students, we will now see the Lian Basky line clipping algorithm, the steps for it. Okay, the first step is uh, as it was uh, in the previous algorithm, uh, you have to get the end points of the line. Okay, so you have to get the end points x1, y1 to x2, y2. Alright, step 2, you have to find certain parameters in order to go ahead with the calculations. Okay, so what do you find? You have to find delta x, delta y. P1, P2, P3, P4, Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. Now P1, P2, P3, P4 and Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 are the parameters that we have computed in the derivation of lien baski line clipping algorithm that we have seen in the previous video. So if you don't know what I am talking about, I suggest you all see the video which was uploaded previously about the derivation uh, where we have derived the formula for P1, P2, P3, P4 and Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. Okay. Now let's see the next step. Step 3 is to assign uh, T1 is equal to 0 and T2 is equal to 1. So we assume that T1 is equal to 0 and T2 is equal to 1. Okay. Now if PK where K is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So PK here is actually uh, from P1 to P4 because my k is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. If that it comes up to 0, okay. So, I when I am saying Pk, we are going to calculate P1, P2, P3, P4, all of them together, right. So, any of these parameters, if they are equal to 0, then the line is parallel to the window, okay. If Qk is less than 0, okay. So, where k is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, then the line is outside the window, then you reject it, okay. Then, uh, uh, the third condition is that for non-zero values of pk, if pk is less than 0, then what do I do? I find t1, the new t1, okay. So, now my old t1 is already 1, uh, sorry, old t1 is already 0, I have to find the new t1, okay. For that, my formula is t1 is equal to max of 0 comma qk by pk okay so i will be having two values and i have to select the maximum of those two values okay that will be the value for t1 it will be it will become very clear once we see a numerical on this method okay else what do i have to do pk if pk is greater than 0 now we have seen the condition for less than 0 now we'll see the condition for uh, greater than 0 then we have to find out t2 if it's less than 0, we find T1. If it's greater than 0, we find T2. Okay. So, T2 is equal to minimum of 1 comma QK, uh, QK by PK. So, have to find the minimum value, whether 1 is one, uh, one is minimum or this value that you obtained, this is minimum. Whichever is the minimum value, that will be assigned to T2. Okay. Then, what do you do? If T1 is greater than T2, then the line is completely outside, then you reject the line. Okay. After finding T1 and T2, then you decide whether the line is inside, outside or partially inside. Okay. So, if T1 is greater than T2, then the line is completely outside and hence you reject it. Okay. Or else find new set of XY. Okay. So, if the line is not completely outside, that means it is partially inside and partially outside. So, we need to clip it. Right. So, that is why in order to clip it, we will we will be given a window size so according to that the new parameters x new end point of the line has to be calculated if t1 and t2 is changed okay now once that is done you have to calculate now in order to find this there is a formula given this which is also there in our derivation which we have seen in the previous video so x comma uh, x is x1 plus t into delta x and y is y1 plus t into delta y okay so this is how this is the algorithm for these are the steps for Lien Basky line clipping algorithm. In the next video, we are going to see uh, a numerical based on Lien Basky line clipping algorithm. Thank you.